got no ambiance. Let me get some ambiance. Get that ambiance. What up, CP? What up, my nigga? What up, CP? What's good? What's good? Lulu, you looking good after your surgery. Thank you. Don't make me laugh too much. I can't really open my mouth up. Oh, I'm going a, I'm to a crack that bitch open then. Since, since <laughs> Fuck open. you. What's up, Ty? You on mute right now. Right, Sorry, I was trying to see if Gucci and Jeezy was about to start fighting. Oh, they oh. was being petty. Oh, they, oh, they got to do it? Well, you sound like a robot again, CP. Bro, right. he got crazy. Right back. I mean, All I, I crazy, heard bro. was when Gucci said, hey, man, play something new, man. I got new hits. Play some new hits, man. I, it, it got worse than that, bro. It no, got, it it got way worse than that. It's really impressive right now. Ooh. Sorry. Uh, I, hey, hey, to hear, I was FaceTiming this fine-ass dude to hear. Like, you uh, have to put it in the universe. This nigga is fine. Like, he fine. Hey, I'm trying to, I, I know what you deserve, Lou, so I'm just trying to make sure you got it going. This nigga talking, he's like a fine, fine, like. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Pull it up. I appreciate y'all pulling up, man. Uh, we got a great show for y'all. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be crazy for. She over there jamming it to some Gucci. Crazy. That's Gucci. <laughs> lifestyle, lifestyle, I know, make it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be crazy tonight. So we got a couple people popping in. Uh, a couple people won't be able to stay long, but we, we, got, a, we got a lot of people pulling in, so. It's gonna be a good time, man. Um, uh, actually, you know what? Let me pull it over real quick, real quick. Right here, boom. There we go. And, all right. I got the same face. I know a couple people go go come in a little a little late because of the verses. Uh, <laughs> Jeezy was paying like hits, my boy. Like Jeezy was. Woo, <laughs> woo. I was like, this is over. <laughs> this is over. Oh, it, it, uh, Ooh, when I, is it gonna start for Gucci? Oh man, it, it started late, and then I, I was calling Jeezy the whole time. Goo, I pulled out some, he pulled out some his though. Mm -hmm. but I, I was I was saying Jeezy the whole time, but man, man, oh man, man, oh man. Who you think is gonna win? To him? Let me see if I, I'm missing text or something like that because I'm trying to. Yeah, I was texting you like crazy. I was like, hello. Yeah, <laughs> That's about to go down. Was like, oh man, yeah, that was my bad. Um, what happened was the computer logged me out because I logged in from my phone yesterday, I guess. And so uh, when I was trying to log in, it was like, put your password in. I'm like, fuck. That's the worst, so yo. I, go through 30, I went through 10 different passwords all to realize I had the wrong email. The password <laughs> was probably right on one of them, but I had the wrong email. So, you know, we, we yeah. got it together, though. I, I write uh, mine now, now. I write my passwords down. And I used to, but then I was just like, man, I'm gonna lose this and somebody gonna find it. So I'm just gonna just do the Put it in the chain. cloud, bro. Put it in the cloud. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me uh go ahead and, and change this uh put the description in here real quick, and then we go get and get started, man. Um Chico already gave me a heads up. He's gonna be running a little late, but he's pulling up. Uh me, me pop my in for a minute, mm. and we might have another special guest to pop in just for a hot second. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, but yeah, it's you, CP. Was you watching it? Hell yeah, I was watching it. That shit, bro. That nigga said, Let's hey. have a real estate battle. I'm like, oh, these niggas gonna scrap. Hey, listen, but listen, when a nigga starts saying some shit like, Let's have a real estate battle, battle, uh, or uh, uh, actually, Gucci started with like, Look at which next time we need to have a, a, a jury, jury battle, battle, something like that. Yeah. And before that, he was like, Look at my look at the way my opponent is dressed. I was like, Ah, nigga, that. You make it look like you're losing when you start doing shit like that. But he was taking shots the whole time, though. That's the whole time. Attitude. Oh yeah. yeah so sure. I don't think he was losing. Okay, Lulu, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't <laughs> don't beat beat back it in. Come on now. Come on now. We getting started early, huh? What's your cash app? God damn it. Fuck it. Let's let's get it going then. <laughs> I don't even know what I walked in on. Walked in like this. Did uh, <laughs> this ass on this Zoom. <laughs> what did I miss with this ass on this Zoom? Did I miss something? Oh, shit. You mean with the ass on the Zoom? CP chill, yo. <laughs> Brought to you tonight by Baby Jeters. Boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Oh, those went is fire. I like those. You fuck with Baby oh, Jeters? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, them bitches are boy. Yo, they, they be tiny, but they be knocking you out? Yeah, your ass be dead. Like, what the fuck happened to me? See, I don't I'm about to, do a, uh, I'm about to crack them up in Inglewood as soon as we get off. Oh, yeah. 
It's back. They actually got a location. Yeah, they got they uh doing a location where they live streaming it or filming it or something like that. Where the oh, location? Okay. Is it you said in Inglewood? Yep, in Inglewood. They better do that shit fast, man. The mayor about to set that shit down again. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday is a wrap. <laughs> I better get yeah. that last little minute coochie. Like, oh, let me get a little coochie real quick. No, nah, man, that's what, he, if he come over at 10, he's staying till six. Ooh, see? <laughs> you got to be the committed something by then, man. I can't just, you can't stay for six hours. Like, six hours. I don't understand. Like, I don't understand the, the curfew. Like, is COVID most potent from 10 to six? Like, what are we talking about? Mm-hmm. I think they're trying to, to discourage. You know, some of us be like, it's over at 10. I ain't even finna fucking go. <laughs> And then be the ones with the Rona, all in their hair. Rona be in their hair on their hoodie. So no, nah, we want them to stay home. Ten o'clock, yeah. that's bullshit. Yeah, I, I want to come to the three o'clock events, the three p.m. events, the four forty-five events. I'm there. I'm there. But ten o'clock? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You right, CP. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. See, look at Lulu. Like fuck all that. Who the fuck <laughs> they think I am? Real ass bitch. Give a fuck by the curfew. <laughs> <laughs> they good. Hey man. I don't know. I don't know, know. Get I don't know what they're going to do, bro. It, LA been shut down anyway, though. So it ain't really changed shit out here. It's supposed to be yeah, shut down. Y'all ain't even acting like, like it is. Don't get you mad at what? us. We done found a little bit of happiness in this bullshit. They were like, you ain't acting like it's shut down. They want niggas to be sad. We not sad. We, uh, we got I'm enough sad. weed. The dispensaries is open. You know what I'm saying? Niggas getting these checks. Hey, Happy. I'm cool. I'm going to have somebody come yeah. over at 9 o'clock and he got to leave at 10 o'clock. That's perfect. Young Jizzle from the bottom of the map. That is perfect. Thank you, oh, curfew. You to be there was for an hour anyway. Hey, man, this pussy is sponsored by a good curfew at 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh, Larry! <laughs> Nigga, you watch TV. Now, that's a pussy that you get with. You understand me? That's a pussy, that's a pussy you can stand by. Built for tough. That's the one I want. Oh, yo, shit. Can you imagine hey. the pussy had commercials? Nigga be like, hey, I know you saw it. I'm getting that. I'm getting that one. That's the one I want. That's the one I want. That's the one I want. Yo, Niggas be, you know, I'm- hood niggas. Had it had that shit on their Christmas list. I want one of them new pussies. I want uh, they circled it in the big toy book. They circled the bitch with the big marker like this. I want this bitch with the new marker. pussy. Oh, I don't have it's that beautiful. kind of coochie. I don't have the vision board coochie. I got the kind where it's like, well, my credit needs some work, so I'm going over here to the buy here, pay here a lot. That's the kind oh, of coochie I got. You got one of them no money down. Everybody approved coochie. <laughs> no money yeah. down. Drag it in you. If you drag them yeah. nuts in, pull yeah. them nuts in, or drive yeah. them nuts in. <laughs> Niggas like, it's my pussy and I want it now. <laughs> yeah. I will listen. We about listen, to my coochie is where you dropped your credit. Started just like this. Welcome to another episode of Zoom If you don't slide home. that little five heartbeats mic the fuck back out of here. <laughs> Why does it make so small? <laughs> Show us the rest of the drink. Show us the rest of the drink that it's in to here. This guy got a big ass big gulp with a mic on it. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Get little yeah. shit out of here. Like I said, with no further ado. Welcome to another episode of Zooming with the homies, man. We about to kick this motherfucker off just like that. If you like us, you're fresh off the versus battle and you're ready to talk shit. And that's what we gonna do tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a fantastic show for you. We only have just, but a few of the amazing people that will be on the show. But uh, nonetheless, we're gonna get this thing started just like this. First off, ladies and gentlemen, she's one of the first ladies of Zooming with the homies. You've seen her all over, Squadcast. Zooming with the homie. She had her own uh, radio show. She has a podcast. She's dropping videos. Y'all know what makes some noise right now for writer, comedian, actor, Ty Davis. Bye, 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 bye. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up? Shout out to the Yam fam. Pull up. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm actually looking yeah, surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Is that how to say yam, 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 yam? Yam, 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 yam. Yam, 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 yam. yam. <laughs> <laughs> yam, 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 yam. Yum, 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 yum. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yo, hey, my it, mic look like uh, a dick. To hear my look like a clitoris. <laughs> Both of them highly sensitive. They can pick up the sound. You know what I'm saying? All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My shit only work at the tip. Yo, sh- all right, go ahead. Wait, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Next up, ladies and gentlemen. But yours got a long base. Uh, right. Might as well just go to him now. Uh, Detroit hero, hometown. No, hero. motherfucker. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. He's a he's a he's a comedian. He's a writer. He's a uh, actor, producer, executive does, producer, does things of all sorts, huh? Executive producer. Wow. Executive Listen, producer. Put, puppeteer. Put my, little, put my little sprinkle on my shit. My shit came exactly. out today. Put 
put my little sprinkle. I saw that. I put saw my little sprinkle. My Throw boy. some seasoning on my shit. Okay, go ahead, bring me in. But you know what I'm saying? Open the whole ramen noodle pack on my shit. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, he's a comedian, writer, yeah. director, uh, actor, uh, executive producer. I threw a whole lot of sprinkles. Did you see it? You might have missed it. Did you see all the sprinkles fall I out? I saw all that shit. Whole can of Lorries, my yeah, nigga. A whole That's can of you. reusable toothpicks, which is a whole nother story I got to talk to you about, nigga. What kind of nigga is you? You ain't even got them kind of teeth. To hear they have reusable toothpicks? Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> matchsticks, nigga. Okay, I'm like, nigga, this nigga to here is a pro. Pop, pop, pop. Put that bitch right back in the jar. Lou, Lou, how are you going to get through this? Yo, Listen. Break, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen you. from Detroit, y'all put your hands together for CP. Bam, bam, thank bam, you. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna tell you, you put executive producer in there and then you drop puppeteer off. But you know what I'm saying? Nah, we're, we're nah, you keep there. puppeteer up in there, bro. What oh, you talking he about? He did that. He did that. Uh, uh, See how I'm pointing the cigarette? He 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 did that. He did that. This <laughs> nigga did that. That little ass Mike. I, ooh, I, it's like, man, that Mike is like it's such a titty nipple. I just wanna, it's like by itself. Can you imagine if a nipple went so low? That's what it'll look like. Yeah, I was with the titty man for a while, but the nipple decided, you know. <laughs> This is this is Nipples World. My new uh my new album coming out called Areola 51. Fit be a hit. Areola 51. <laughs> Something quick. I just tried to throw it together. You know what I'm saying? Look, it is too early. My new mixtape coming. Ladies and gentlemen, uh please help me welcome back to the show. Very funny, very amazing, very dope person, man. New York born and bred. She's a veteran. We just celebrated her and her brothers and sisters last week. She's also a comedian, content creator, producer, writer, actor. Uh, mm -hmm. And goddamn boss all in these streets, ladies and gentlemen. I want y'all to start clapping freshly off a of tooth surgery. <laughs> y'all put your hands together, but she gonna be talking like this the whole night. Hello, Gonzalez. Bam, 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 bam. I'm getting my Kanye on, you know, I'm just ready no. for, um, ready to die too, you know what I'm saying? No, she's from New York. Through, she, feel you know? like, she feel like 50 and get rich and die trying. And the movie, like, she's like, <laughs> it has more pain. Your voice has more pain. I'm not about. weak. I'm not. Look your head, boy. I whoop, I whoop your, your head, head boy. boy. <laughs> I whoop your head, boy. That nigga, boy. Watch out. Him and Kanye need... got a lot hey, of man. I took nine shots to Novocaine, so that's all that really matters. So, Ooh. you know what I'm saying? You finna be, you finna be fucked. Nigga, he gave me uh, instant Botox. Good. That shit went all the way up here. I was that like, oh, wait. You was hot. <laughs> okay, let's see who we got here. Who we got pulling up? We got two people pulling up. We gonna see. We gonna see. It's my nigga B. Everybody that pulled up already let me know that they're gonna be running a little late, y'all. So we stalling them out. You know what I'm saying? We still in the morning. We do gotta get an icon for Lulu. Is there an army? Oh boot? shit, that's Ken. I gotta put the weed out. Put the weed out. Put the weed out. I gotta put the weed out. Put the weed out. Oh, there you go. Glasses though, folks. What up though? What's going on with y'all, man? I'm sorry I'm late, man. I'm in here. My hey, bro, you already told me what it here, was. Man. You already told me what it was going to be. I already knew what to expect, I, I'm bro. Sorry, man. This shit is... Chico, I know you ain't getting all that money. ain't got no Wi-Fi. You can't be walking know. around the house. Man. I didn't think it was going to happen, but then the reason why I didn't think it was going to happen... You said, hello, in my face now? Yeah, I'm at an Airbnb. I don't even live here, nigga. This ain't my house. I met somebody else. Shit. I just hey, want man. to. Hey, hey, hell yeah. Never your late. shit. Nigga, this is this, all this is rented. Oh, <laughs> the house ain't even mine. Yeah, nigga, I don't know. This shit. This shit somebody else's. I don't know the Wi Fi password. This motherfucker. I just wanted to make sure I checked in. This nigga was, beard you know, is very shit. Yeah, I'll be feeling like I let these niggas down. Yeah, my the beard flourishing and, and the size is flourishing, but this gone. <laughs> See, and you know what's crazy? Look at Kev beard, smooth, velvety, you know what I'm saying, but bald. I think that your head be like, oh, you want to do facial hair? You know what, you know what I'm saying? Like, your head want exclusivity. Facial hair is too much. So, nigga, how many niggas you know with the full bam and the full bam? Think about it, the full bam and the full bam. How many niggas you know? I don't know about that. I don't think that ever happened. Nah. Think about how much face that leaves. That leave you this much face. So you, you know what I'm saying? You really? Yeah. If you got the full head and the full big one of your arms shorter than the other one or something, something got to be wrong with you. Damn, you sound like uh, Harry Malcolm in the middle, homeboy. 
Is this shit late? Yeah, it's late, bro. It's coming like it sounded like Malcolm in the middle home, but he was in a wheelchair. He I was like, like, I'm my god. What did you see? Hey Lewis, you gotta uh mute your uh your background. My nigga oh. Lewis turned. Hey, I'm over here turned up. Hold on. Nigga, we can't even see you. Why can't why this motherfucker don't work? You know, yeah, I'm outside music, nigga. I'm nigga, I'm trying to pull up, nigga. Hey, 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 that Gucci guy bringing the hood nigga out of everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, hey, hey, you, know, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the streets, you know what I'm saying? I was on that Gucci and that, and hey, that, uh, and that young Jesus, guns, man. Right. You're not even holding your fake guns right, man. Snowman, Icy, uh, Ice Cream, Burr. You don't gotta do this, kid. <laughs> you don't gotta Hope do that. that. See, hopefully you don't have to go through that. <laughs> we, oh, you do that one. We respect you anyway, brother. <laughs> Kev was a dude that was in the hood, and they was like, "Nah, man, don't fuck with him. He got better things going on." Hey, going yeah. to school. Leave him alone. Hey, look, he's going to school. He going to Kev school. He got mad at his dad. I ran out in the streets one day. It was like, "Put me on." They was like, "Kev, go home. <laughs> go home, man." <laughs> he was in the car. <laughs> Let me out, man. Come <laughs> on, man. I'm so icy. Yeah. No. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I also want to introduce to you, uh, uh, man, need no introduction. My brother, man, it's my, my dog right here. Kev on stage just popping in for a little bit because he's got to go to bed in like 20 minutes. <laughs> um, we're super excited that he's here. You can tell he already sleepy. You know what I'm saying? He was <laughs> texting me doing the verses, asking me what the lyrics mean in this song. So, uh, <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna hold you to hear. Don't even worry about it. Listen, don't even bro. Worry about it. This this verses and the Beanie Man one, I be like, so these are a lot of songs I'm not familiar with. <laughs> I yeah, know, that Beanie like, Man shit was like, all right, bro, all right, nigga, <laughs> bro. That, nah, that I, I just quick. didn't really dabble in the East Atlanta trap music like that. It was a lot of BB and CC and stuff. You know, it was you know different types of music. <laughs> Well, you missed out, oh. goddamn it! Cause we was having a good ass time in we 05. Was. Man, yeah, I kills. just. Nigga, oh, I, 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 I'm gonna introduce like Louis. Then I want to ask girl. Chico a question, man, because he actually in Atlanta right now. First off, ladies and gentlemen, from the land, it's my dog, comedian, writer, actor, and all out entertainer. Y'all put your hands together for my dog, Louis Belt, in the motherfucker building. Bam, 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 bam. He and his bitch. Yo, you know up? what I'm talking hey. about? I see you with the t-shirt on, my boy. T-shirt's oh, yeah, flourishing yeah. out there. Sales doing yeah, good. Yeah, you know, we out here fucking with it, you know what I'm saying? Bit out the trunk. All right. <laughs> oh, Chico, what is it like in the letter right now, dog? Uh, like well, well, Can y'all hear me? We can hear you. You sound like you're talking through a fan, though. Oh, no, my God. God. I'm so sorry, man. I'm in an Airbnb. We was over here recording, and this is, you know what I mean? I wanted to make sure I got to y'all, but... It's turned up, man. I wouldn't go outside tonight, though. I definitely wouldn't do that. Yeah, you gotta in the house. If you're in Atlanta, treat this shit like the boogeyman is outside. Don't go nowhere in Atlanta tonight. Just stay in the house. It ain't even worth it after that shit. Y'all should have been doing that. Uh, I mean, but no, 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 no. It's different down here. I don't think Atlanta ever closed. But tonight, yeah, they, 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 they never started the quarantine. They never started the quarantine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but tonight, though, be the first night. Yeah. This, court, this should be the first night of quarantine. Nobody should go outside. That was crazy. I was going to go to Zone 6 and go hang out with my nigga out front. You don't think I should do that? Nah, nah. You tripping. You tripping. You go to Zone 6 tonight. She better have on bulletproof skin. It's going up tonight. <laughs> it's going up tonight. <laughs> Them boys excited over there tonight. They oh, seen, nigga, I didn't think it was going to happen, skin. man. I, I really didn't. Hey, that listen. Boy played that song, man. And Bro. performed the whole thing. Bro, when he Bruh. played that song, when he played that song, what and happened? Jeezy, 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 I missed Jeezy it. I was on here. On. Him afterwards, yeah. nigga. So Ooh. wait, what happened? We was on here. What happened? Ooh. Wait, what happened? No. Y'all not watching it? No, I was being professional, and I was just coming to Zoom with my homies. I just I missed like, that part of it. Before we started, though, this happened before we started. Oh no, I was Facetime. Oh, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a diehard Jeezy fan. So I, I had to watch it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This shit was nigga, we was like, watching I, I was on some hustling shit. I wasn't selling drugs, but I was hustling. I used to work at the barber shop. I, I swept here for money. I bought my I had my own money and I bought Jeezy CD with my own money, nigga at 11. So I'm like, nigga, I'm, I had the snowman shit. 
Well, I gotta watch. <laughs> well, I gotta watch. Man, when when that nigga played that song, I thought some shit was gonna happen, bro. To I hear it know. wasn't that he just played the song. He After the song the was over, he was like, and I put your homeboy in the dirt. Send yeah. another one. I was like, sir, we heard oh, he the said music. that? A lot? Yes. Yes. And I put him in the dirt. Send another one. I was like, Mr. Main. Mr. 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 Main. Yeah. <laughs> then he said, before he said that, though, he said, so the homie that got killed was his dude named, um, was it, uh, uh, Perp Loke or something? Don't even worry about it. Don't even say it. Don't say it. They Listen. might be mad at you for repeating it. Just yeah, that's let it like candy it man. One time. Leave it alone. Okay. I didn't know what happened though. So wait, okay, so he that nigga said so that nigga in the mic. Oh. I was like, Jesus, the disrespect. The disrespect. Hey, I, what did Jesus say? Jeezy what did Jesus? Yeah, what did Jesus say? He's sponsored by he, he, he like went to uh, you know, like man, you know, hey, that was bullshit, hey, basically. Hey, you I know, just man, just in. They doing just icy together. They performing it together. Oh, they they out right now? Right now. They doing so icy right now? Oh! They doing so icy together. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody mute your computer. Niggas said they doing so icy. Mute your computer. Mute your computer. Look at Lewis. I gotta, I gotta check this out my damn self. Hey, Lewis, what's going on? Hey, hey, yeah. For real, bro. Dude, look at Kev. I don't even believe you see them niggas still socially distanced performing it, though. Jeez, look like he's going to get in the hood. Hey, uh, this iconic right here. Hey, that's crazy. Listen, I was wondering. I was like, man, what is all of this? Is just a front. They really cool. They just, they just really cool. And the cameras. I did not think that they was going to end up performing together. That shit, that shit, all types of crazy. Damn. But you know what? Here's the thing, though. Don't nothing bring niggas together and push them apart like money. If these niggas did a tour somehow after all this shit is over, nigga, that's a lot of money to be got. That's a lot of money. But you can't just sit and tell me you put my boy in the dirt and then like let's rap together. Like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. So the whole thing about him killing his homeboy, his homeboy went to try to rob Gucci, suppose supposedly, right? And and the because the, the Gucci went to court and all this shit, and he got uh acquitted because he claimed self-defense. So what you gonna do if somebody try to rob you? Yeah, but you still out here saying <laughs> put your boy in the dirt. Send hey, another that one. shit was mad disrespectful the way he did that shit. I was Lou, you still uh you you muted Lou. Unmute yourself. Hit the little speaker thing. Is this who you emailed oh. instead of me? No, nah, I emailed my other boy Louis. I emailed Lou <laughs> after you. Hey, my thing is. When it comes to a lot of street shit, people don't be knowing what got done and what got done and this and that. That's the only thing that's public and it happens. So, you know, I think they put it to, you know, put it to the side. You know, I think they both got some things they gonna have to, you know, put to the side. Yeah. It ain't no one-sided thing. Probably. Yeah, I get that. But if you say that in my face now, in the present, in my present company, I'm slapping you and I'm clapping you. And it's something that's gonna, there's no more music. Music is done. Yeah. That's street shit. Not all this. And then what? And then, hold on, hold on. Then. Gucci addressing him. Oh shit! It is all love. And no disrespect. It's all love. Yeah, it's all love. But are they? I want to see them actually do the. the grip up they better watch out. I don't know, bro. I think it's all good, man. <laughs> yeah, and I think it ended on a brick. That they going to be listen, selling bricks was, together. Like, I was let's definitely... share a brick. Like, okay, let's share a brick. <laughs> let's, let's, I mean, let's share a brick. I'm so icy, you so icy. Like, it's going to be a beautiful, joyous thing. Yeah, I, I was definitely taking the under on them performing that song. So the fact that they performed it, it might be all right to go out tonight. Yeah. Just because they perform that song. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Hey, man. 2020, you know what's crazy, bro? Peep this. 2020 been fucked up, right? But we've been responding back to the fucked up shit with so much lit 
shit that when yeah. you look at like, okay, let's let's drop all the losses in 2020 for a second and think about how much lit shit we created for ourselves just to be able to fucking smile, bro. Like 2020 was kind of crazy. And no condoms. Yeah, it was yeah. Like, bro, like I think the resilience was at an all time high. That's yeah. deep, man. Especially from entertainers, man. We've like changed the game on how to man, make dog. money during a pandemic. Oh, mamas. I, yeah, I've man. never had a better worst year. It's facts. Yeah. I, agree. <laughs> I feel like everybody, for the most part, just about everybody on here can say the same thing. Nigga, Kev is, Kev might not ever go back on the road. Nah, I'm gonna I'm go back. I just, I ain't in no rush. <laughs> I mean, honestly, honestly, bro, I might not go back. It's like, I never thought, well, let me, I'm going back. I just, it's gonna have to be a minute because the, the energy, the energy of live comedy, a full club or a full like packed venue, venue? no zoom in, there's no zoom in for that. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. there's no, there's no virtual thing, you know. It's like when you've got to take the condom off for real. It's hard. You can't just go back and put the condom off. Kev. It's like, damn. Kev. You can listen to too much Jeezy. Kev has children. 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 Kev has me anyway, personally, hey, like, what if Kev be getting people. down like a porn star? Like, what if low key Kev, like, yeah, as soon as I get off, I'm finna go tear this shit down in the name of Jesus. I'm about to go put <laughs> some dick down. You understand me? Oh, hey, Kev, you play, you play that new melodies from heaven. That's what you be listening to. Nah. <laughs> That's what he be getting on to on the bed. The guy was wrong for that. He was wrong hey, for man, that. But. I don't I understand why people are so mad at that. people so mad at that. Like, first of all, I say, I've say i said this before, and people have been upset with me, but I think that, you know, like the name, something about the name Jesus, I heard that song in its entirety for the first time this year. I never really listened to gospel music. And when I heard it, I'm like, if you're a Christian person and you ain't having sex to this song, like you're wasting the song. Like, this is a, this is a song for Christian people to make love to. Exactly. Like, what music do Christian people do it to? If that's not the one you do it to, you can't well, listen Fred to no secular music, can you? Fred no, Hammond, you can stop to hear Fred it. Hammond had a whole album. He called it um, Love Unstoppable. Christian love making music. He uh, called music it Love Unstoppable. For, for lovers. For Christian lovers. But did anything on that album sound better than something about the name Jesus? No. <laughs> what did you go? First, first of all, a lot of gospel... <laughs> <laughs> so, I can't imagine smashing to something about the name Jesus. I can. <laughs> Maybe it's because it came into my life late, but I can imagine it. See, <laughs> it, when you started fucking early, you had to fuck no matter what the fucking background noise was. So I think back then, yeah. you trained yourself to be like, dun, 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 you got, dun, I can fuck dun, the Toy Story free dun, background. Dun, dun, I don't give a damn what we talking about. Come on now. You be like, yes. <laughs> Yo, what, what game show was that? I don't Price know about right. that, but I fucked the music in a long time. Like, I just fucked the, like, old Martin episodes and sports in the background and shit like that. So, so if I'm picking a song, why wouldn't I want to pick a song that's, like, blessed? Blessed! And make the experience dope. But maybe I'm crazy, though, so that's what they tell me. So I might be crazy. Uh, listen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, again, welcome to another episode of Zooming with the Homies. Uh, everybody on here is a comedian, so I'm going to ask all my comedians to change your name to your cash app and uh, let the people bless you with a little something if you want to do it. Hell no. Nah. Uh, <laughs> my shit up there. It's good. Nah. The scammers is on here, too. It's 2020. Hey, listen. You, <laughs> you, know, that's you from Atlanta. You, you you from Atlanta. You can't do it, nigga. They know. No, I'm from I'm from D.C., but but the scammers is all over the country. They are waiting to see certain people's cash out. Got them. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> no. <laughs> he said, thank you, Jesus. No. Um, um, oh, I don't even thank you for it. Yeah, I didn't even know y'all did that. Every night. Have, what you trying to I'm say, have, man? Do y'all do that every day or just on Thursday? And I'll do it every night. And then I'll do a wing stop Wednesday every night. And all, yeah. all the guests wing stop on Wednesdays. Oh, dope. Do, 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 you get, do you have like comments? Can you see comments? Yeah, it's live now. It's live on Instagram. We got 28. Okay, well, if anybody want to give me some money, 
if anybody want to give me some money, put the amount in the comments. And if it add up to over four five hundred dollars, then I put my children. Oh, mamas, oh, mamas, oh, mamas. Other than that, I love y'all. I believe it with. <laughs> Well, feel free to cash out me around this motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it, me. I'm talking about facts. Oh yeah, and they, cause they'll hit you. They'll def, they'll either try to hit you with the request. So be careful when you go through and accept them, cause they'll yeah. definitely slide in like a twenty dollar request from your ass. Like, yeah. Accept, accept, Bro, accept. I, I ain't never done it before. I'm gonna see what this motherfucker do. Anything you, you got a button to accept, examine it. Don't just yeah. don't just be breezing through them bitches. Somebody Man. tried to hit me with the money. They was like, for a PS5. I was like, nigga, I'm trying to get a PS5. I was like, what the fuck? Damn, I don't like that. I ain't got time for niggas to be playing with me. I'm pretty sure they ain't going to be saying that. They, they going to try it. Mm-hmm. She go, what glasses them, nigga? Let me see them for a fucking minute, man. The you say you want the glasses? Oh, you want vintage, vintage frame. These my Billy Paul glasses. Do not take my hat off. I'm a nigga from me and Mrs. Jones. Hey, that, hey that's the <laughs> store in Montreal. You get them in Montreal? Yeah, that's the... I, I, I go from, from young... Young Ice Cube to me. Yeah. I like the fact that I can switch it up like that. So, Pico, I want to tell confident. you, bro, your, your, your confidence, bro, you got the, the confidence to rock it. I be watching your videos every time you drop a new style. I be like, bro, Chico confidence out of this world. You When you had the baby twist, you rocked it like they was full twist. <laughs> yeah, and then I respect you too, even though you be cheating, for you to go get the... For you to go get the, the lace fronts, the, the Shaman Moors, and, the, and, and you, I'm talking about you be having a full lace front. I'm like, this nigga got a full set on his head. So that that's just the, takes just as much confidence. I mean, for me, it's like, hey. it's funny, and I know it's funny. It's hilarious. But, you know, for me, it's just like, I know I got a big following. A lot of people putting eyes on me, and it's really just about self-love, man. Yeah. Like, because 2020 has been such a messed up year for people. And people have been going through so much. So if I can use my influence to show people that, hey man, at my when my shit looked the craziest, I'm still the same nigga I was before it looked crazy. And, and you, you can't talk same, to nobody who, who own it. Huh? <laughs> I said when you own it, there ain't nothing you can say. Yeah, you be like, I just, yeah, man. Yeah, like, I just, yeah, just want to make sure that I project that energy out because it came from a genuine place. I was in my house boxing. I put a video up boxing. People were saying I was hiding my hairline. I'm like, shit, no, I'm not. So I put up that picture and it got more comments than I've ever got on any uh, Instagram picture prior to that. So I was like, that's crazy. I'm just going to keep showing it. And then after a while, I started to see the responses and people were really offended. Like, nigga, you need to cut that shit. You need to do this and you need to do that. I'm like, well, I'm going to show you just how much I don't give a fuck about opinion. And it turned into what it turned into. Ain't it wild how people on the internet feel confident to tell you what to do with your hair? This is my body. It's my hair. Yeah, Yeah, but, you know, that's that's what the internet gives you. The internet gives you that type of power because your opinion counts when you read it across that line. So, you know, it just will come with the game now. I love it. I think that thought girls had it rough, but y'all be having it rough. Oh, yeah, and then we don't get no point. That's why I say if you can't take me at my Billy Paul, you don't deserve me at my Ice Cube. Fuck you. You know (laughs) Y'all been wearing makeup and goddamn body shapers and fake all types of shit that you come home and do the Mr. Potato here and I gotta still love you, but if I walk around like this, I'm a bad person. Hey, and I just, Chico, you, you liberating though. Do you be having women at your show just ripping their wings? I'm like, fuck it, Chico, it is what it is. You Man, are I ain't right. had no shows, nigga, I don't know. I can't wait to have a show until oh, I can shit, see it. You, no show since, since, since you gotta go. Since you gotta go live, and then have all these women take it off on the live with you. That's that's, that's how. Lou, Lou they what wouldn't do it. Time, uh, you had Put a show, your ball head on live. I gave you a thousand dollars. Last time, last time I did a show, uh, it was just time, live. I was doing a hotline headline, and I would try to get women to show theirs, but they just wasn't. They wouldn't do it. Uh, Lou, you say last time you did a, a show was uh, just for laughs. Yeah, it was like two months ago. Two months ago, you oh you oh you still went up there? Yeah, yeah. It, they shot no. It, we didn't do it in Montreal. They did it a a laugh out loud network head like the headquarters and shit. Oh, okay, no, no, no. So we did it there. It was cool. Yeah. What was y'all last live show? Where was it? And when was it? With Everybody. people. With uh, people, a real live record before this shit kicked off. When was the last time you performed for a full crowd live? December, Man. my yeah. December, I did, yeah, I did revolt in December. 
We did St. Louis. We did Kansas City Friday, Saturday, and then we did St. Louis on Sunday. And that was the first yep. weekend of March. That was it our was, first it was your, was your, last regular live we show. We did the two, the, the two so they sold out the second show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, it was Tampa to here. It was Tampa. St. Louis. St. Louis was the last time we went out. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It was we, had, we, we had shows that following. No, we were off that next week. And then we were going to go back out. It was like the shows didn't kind of like that might cancel. And then the world ended. Mm -hmm. Bruh, I, I, I know I said this on Zooming before. I remember when my agent was like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all probably be down probably mid-April, you know, May 1st at the latest. I was like, man, all the way to May 1st? Bruh, May was four or five months ago. <laughs> They was just like cancel, 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 cancel. I was like, bro, y'all shoot the bills. The bills keep coming though. Oh, the yeah. bills was still, they was on auto. They was on auto when it, when it came to the bills. They was just hey. shipping them motherfuckers out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew it was over. I called it when it first shut down. I called it because I my last show was March eighth in Nashville, and uh, and uh, I went came out to L.A. I was supposed to have a meeting. Uh, two meetings, and this was when they was talking like LA was ground zero. This is at the beginning, and right yeah. like March 9th, 10th, when it was bad, it's supposed to have been the worst out there. And um, I was like, man, let me get myself back home because both my meetings got canceled. And I caught a red eye from LA back to where I live in North Carolina. And when I got out, you know how you get off the plane and, you, and your service kicked back in? When my service kicked back in, all my shows just was coming through, postponed, canceled. Cancel, cancel. I'm like, oh, it's over with. So yep. I knew that we it wasn't gonna ever get back to normal this year because when you think about it, none of this shit could happen. If somebody would have told, if somebody would have shown me a picture of me right now in January of this year, I'd have thought I went to jail. Like I done got locked up. <laughs> I done went to jail for something. So none of this is realistic. Like none of us could have thought that any like thing like this would happen. So when it first happened. And I think the thing that did it for me was when the NBA shut down. When yeah, that shut that's down, when I knew it was real. I didn't yeah, think it's yeah, just that the NBA oh, shut down. I'm like, oh, it's hella serious now. It's serious. Yeah, we're not going that's when I drove up to the Bay. Y'all remember the games, the bay though? For like they was warming months. up, and then they had to go back in the locker room. Yeah. It was like, damn, what's going on? It was like the Pelicans. It was like a dog-ass game from the start. And they was, them niggas had to go. Like some, of them, like, some of them ain't even come out. I think only Lonzo came out. It was mm -hmm. shooting around, and I'm like, what's going on? they like, yeah, it's, they ain't even finna come out. Everybody leave, nigga. This shit was like, nigga, the walking dead was finna start. Yeah, it was like lie. the zombies was coming. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I had to go up where, you feel me? My, the mob ain't out here for me in L.A., so I, I went up, up uh, to the Bay. I'm like, nigga, I need to get by. If it's gonna be a purge, nigga, I need to be with my folks, nigga. I was thinking on some street shit when hey, this shit happened. You was in hella traffic, thing. right? I think I watched your story. When you like, you was it's like five hours to get out of L.A. Yeah, I was I was uh, getting out the grapevine. I'm like, nigga, I'm not finna play with these niggas. They Hollywood got empty and shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, let me go. Yeah, yeah I went and bought a pistol. I was like, this is too much. Let me yeah. let me back up. I was, I was taking it serious. I watched too many movies for this type of shit. Yeah, that's why I want to get the pistol. I was like, let me. Yeah. I yeah. I went home to D.C., and when I went home to D.C., it took me 10 minutes to get it during rush hour somewhere, but it took me an hour to get to normal, yeah. and I knew it all up. When, when it opened up like that, like when I seen the traffic in D.C. be light, and then my homeboy hit me from in L.A., and he was on the highway at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and there wasn't nobody out, I'm like, oh, this is, this is unreal. That's, like, there's no way we're going to be able to get back this year. That's one of the best things about the quarantine, nigga. We can actually travel at regular times. Nigga, I, I couldn't, I was swerving in and out mm -hmm. of, of the lanes because I had the opportunity to, and we never, we never could do that. Like making it from downtown to the valley in 10 minutes, nigga, in the 11 years I've been out here, I've never been able to do that. That's scary. And that just make you mad as a resident of out there. Where the fuck do all them people go? Like, where do they come from? Like, and how do they just disappear that quick? Like, yeah. I don't, like LA traffic is ridiculous, man. Like it'll take, like, I remember, this is what taught me my lesson about driving to LA. I was in Santa Monica. Oh. Shit. And it was like, out like four o'clock in the afternoon. And it only took me a little while to get out there. And on my way back, I'm like, oh, traffic ain't gonna be that bad. I literally got right when you about to get on the highway and the whole, Matt turned red. I was like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. 
this phone, this, this, the map just came on his crib. What the hell is going on? What happened? It took me three hours to get back on a 20 minute drive. I said, man, yep. this is ridiculous. How was it out in Baltimore when it first this happened, Ty? Um, it's regular. Like these niggas don't, they don't care about anything. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't like, oh gosh, we need to hurry up. Like even right now, it doesn't look like anything's happening. They they doing shows. They doing whatever they want. They just, uh, you know, people still getting killed. They dying every day, like regular. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing has changed. Yeah. You in Baltimore? Are you from Baltimore, dude? I'm from Fayetteville, Born North Carolina, but I live in Baltimore. Oh, dope. Yeah. Fayetteville. That's that's that's. I live in North Carolina too, but I'm familiar with Baltimore being from DC. So I'm sure that was a, a shock. When you move to Baltimore, goodness gracious. Yeah, I don't hear too many people <laughs> say they moved to Baltimore. Yeah, I, I know really people that leave. Well, Baltimore. well, what it was is my mm. mama, my mama is from Baltimore. So she was in the military. She had us down south. So when she retired, we came back up here because we were living in Georgia. And I was like, You're not leaving me here, nigga. No. Like it was an adjustment because coming to visit Baltimore in the summer for you know a couple months is different than living here. Like I've become so mean and aggressive because I've been living here for 20 years. Like, you know, that Southern hospitality in the South, yeah. you make eye contact, you speak and you like, hey, how you doing? Up here, you like, hey, how you doing? They the fuck you looking at? I'm like, Pat, what you looking you at me for? So like, like I've changed now. Now I'm like, nigga, what is you, what are you staring at? Like now I'm aggressive and I don't, now you get me. I don't know how to act around humans. I don't know. That was Lulu already, though. Lulu was already like that from New York. I'm like, yo, why are you Lulu, looking at me? The only chick I seen walk up to a dude was like, what up with that dick, though? Man, wait a second. First of all, please don't talk to my pastor like that. You're a guest <laughs> at the church. It's first Sunday. Hey, man, I'm just saying what it do, though. Like, you know what it is. Like, let's That's why I like shit. New York, because you ain't got to say excuse me to be hella nice, because that was the part I struggled with in Hollywood. I went, I went to the improv, and like, niggas like, you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Like you're not speaking to no. I'm, I don't know these niggas. Like yeah, the Bay Area, Oakland, like that. Like nigga, if you don't know niggas, you better mind your motherfucking business. So, but that's not a healthy way of thinking. I learned that's not okay. You feel me? But we go to certain places. That shit is okay. And I be like, I fuck with this place. So you ain't got nah, because in New York, if you if you, <laughs> if you looking at me too long and you ask you smiling, I'm thinking you trying to rob me. Like what you what you yeah. smiling in my face for? People you... rob before people smile before robbing. They they looking at you in your face like yeah, what's up? Like yeah, what's uh, up? Okay, if it's out here vulnerable. Hey, how you doing? What's good? Yeah. Oh, they smiling. Oh, smiling. Wait, 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 wait. Come here, Mr. Funny wait, Man. Please, please. <laughs> please, Kevin. Kevin, please tell them about the New York Knicks tickets. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> Time out real quick before you start, Kev. To hear, I just moved my camera over, nigga. Is your microphone a house key? It looked like you talking into a house key, nigga. You got a hell of a setup over there. He got that brand new clitoris <laughs> mic. <laughs> clitoris <laughs> mic. <laughs> he got that clitoris mic. You know what I'm saying? That shit like pussy jewelry. Oh, bro. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it's, a, it's a, a stripper will have that mic in her titty asking you all kind of questions. So where are all the dope at? So right. <laughs> <laughs> nigga talking into a nipple that's ring. <laughs> nigga that's talking what it like, that's well, hilarious. Play, hey man, nigga talking into a nipple move ring. This way, huh? Oh my god, I swear it looks like he's talking into a house. Y'all niggas, so where y'all from again? It's registry. It's it's a mic. You see? Oh, that's movie? a real. I thought it's that a was real cool. mic. Test it, test it, test it. One, two, mic check, 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 check. Oh shit, that's kind of raw. Nigga, that ain't no real mic. Niggas, <laughs> you know what the yeah. fuck it is. That's a pop. That you got a battle rap to hear, but that's how big the mic was, but you had to still take it serious. <laughs> <laughs> I come into your house, nigga. <laughs> eat your food in front of your wife. Bigger. That dick all up in her. You be like, oh. nigga, I can't take it seriously with the microphone. <laughs> nigga, oh. get into it and dip that bitch. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine trying to do a mic drop with this? You got you doing a mic drop like this? I'm done. Nigga. You gotta knock the whole shit over. You gotta knock the whole mic over. Nah, he gonna fuck around and get some chicken that's been stuck in his teeth. Yo, if I, if I was a petty bitch, I'd throw that inside of a in a tub on a nigga. Like, uh, uh. Nigga, you used to have a squirrel open up for you. Or a squirrel come out, test it. How's everybody doing tonight? 
<laughs> regular microphone <laughs> tip, that right there is going to get the ticket. Y'all ready, ready to hear do this? You having an open nut set? <laughs> Y'all ready to sit here do this? Everybody, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is nuts in here. Is it some nuts in here? <laughs> you have a look up a little corny jokes and then bring it. All right, I'm going to bring it here right up. <laughs> Yo, that's such a hilarious visual of a squirrel. <laughs> that's like, so nervous. Crazy. Be nervous. Be nervous. Be nervous. Be corny jokes and leave. Man. Yeah, call a little hat and yes. a little vest. Dude, you know, dating that late, man. This is <laughs> right. You Any single squirrels out here? Any single squirrels? Damn. You might see that in LA. And, one, and that's the fucked up part of a lot of the fucked up part about y'all being in LA. Like, that'll be y'all job to bring him up. And then, the, you know, his manager, like a big agent, like this nigga coming there with a big agent. And they tell you, look, man, make sure he wants to be brought up a certain way. This is the next biggest thing. <laughs> now, you got to, now you required to go up there for $25 that night. And bring a squirrel up. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all ready to go nuts? I said, y'all ready to go nuts? Come to the Hold on, bring me up. Man, Chico, bring me up. Bring me up. Bring me up. Oh, uh, I got you. All right, man. Listen, man. I'm telling y'all, man, we got a treat for you guys. And when I say a treat, I mean a real treat. All the way from the tree up the street. Y'all ready to go nuts? I said, are y'all ready to go nuts? Yeah. yeah. Man, don't mistake him for a groundhog, because he ain't going to dig nothing but y'all up out your seats with these last. Y'all make some noise for Sir Squirrel. Hey. All right. All right. Hey, man, how you doing? Hey, if one more motherfucker asked me if I went to Alvin and the Chipmunks, right? <laughs> right? If one more motherfucker asked me about Alvin and the Chipmunks, I swear to God. Hey, anybody ever lose their nuts? <laughs> Right. Look, hold on. Stop. 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 Gotta stop. Gotta stop in the middle of a joke and look around. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny to hear. Hey, they be telling the joke. That's how like, be moving. They be hella paranoid. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey. What's your late show set? You know, your late show, you get to get nasty. You can do new <laughs> yeah. your late show. So you have a fuck up. <laughs> so look, 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 I'm, I'm fucking with a fat bitch right now. Look, this bitch is chewing. I get home from work, this bitch is chewing my nuts up. I said, bitch, those are my nuts. The whole winter time. I just spent the whole season worth of nuts on this bitch in one night. Now I'm out here shivering cold. That's why I'm out here on the road. <laughs> that is why I'm on the road. Can I get another, uh, <laughs> can I get two peanut butter jellies right here? I'm, that's why I'm on the road. <laughs> That's why I'm on the road, man. Oh, That's right. it'd be crazy. <laughs> oh, it's, these kids. It's, so no. many, it's so many premises there. Like, yeah, man, I know my bitch cheating on me, man. She fucked a skunk. Now I'm a fucking ass thing. I'm just like, it's just, <laughs> it's just, it's just, this bitch, this bitch just stepped out on me. When I come home, I smell my nuts. My nuts smell like skunk pussy. I done had some before, so I know she cheating. <laughs> we done had this bitch fucking. That's hilarious, bro. That, <laughs> so this motherfucking nigga, I'm outside. I see the ops. Bam, cat see me. I see the cat. Bam, wait a minute. We on the same tree. Round the tree. Round the tree. Round the tree. Round the tree. Upside down. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. Wap, 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 wap. Tail. Gone. Look, nigga, my cousin, a flying squirrel. I swear to God on my mama, nigga. Top of the tree. Jump. Top of the other tree, nigga. This nigga, he's starting to look like a squirrel to me now. This nigga, I'm really right. believing exactly. it. Exactly. It's all the way. You gotta buy into it, nigga. Get the Pixar, nigga. Like, did you, you say your mama was a flying shit, squirrel? Man. Did you say your mama was a Think about how much shit squirrels know in the hood, nigga. On all the power lines, looking down, seeing niggas chop up the work, seeing who fucking who. Squirrels know shit. Right. Squirrels know shit. Squirrels is like, you know, yeah. squirrels got a, like a drone view. You know that. <laughs> You know that oh camera that be over the uh, football players when you know saying that going on yeah. their wire. Nah, them that's cameras that be up in the hood world. on the side of the on the side of the motherfucking yeah. light pole. Them cameras, <laughs> that's the view the squirrel gets. The squirrel gets the same view the police got. That's what the squirrel got. Hey yo, oh. CP, you fucked up one of my stitches, man. Yeah. Did I? Yeah, I'm man. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's that's the camera that that be in the hood on the corner. <laughs> it was hella yeah, squirrels in my hood, just... bro, but it was no nuts like that. Like, we ain't had no nuts. It was like, what the fuck was the, what they doing? Listen, the crazy like, part is... It I wasn't like Jamaica. a nutty hood like that. It was like hella cement. 
I went to Jamaica and I seen a bunch of goats and not one squirrel. So that's what I'm saying. There's so much we can delve into on a squirrel cartoon that go, yeah. listen, we can take you to be the first squirrel in Jamaica. Like yeah. I'm telling you, man, you got to interact with all them different animals. Yeah, that, you that, you'll understand, like Chico. This is lizard territory, man. Ask me why I never been to Miami. <laughs> Ask me why I never been to Miami. The Italians, yeah. nigga, that's lizard shit. If Ron is the whole territory. That whole territory. We don't do well down there. My shit is bushy. I do a fur. Man, I don't fuck around. I don't got the humidity Miami. don't do well with your fur in Miami. You say what? <laughs> the humidity don't do well with your fur in Miami, nigga. Yeah, it's no nuts oh. down there. Nigga, they eat right, squirrel. Hold on, real quick. Hold on, real quick. Because Kev is thinking he's not going to tell this motherfucking story about New York. And we still listen, want that listen, shit. The New York story ain't got nothing on a squirrel that has to go to Jamaica for the first time. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> the squirrel, like Lou, when he came to LA, he like, I don't know nobody, bro. I just keep it myself. You know what I'm saying? I got on the wrong cruise ship. I don't know how I got out. <laughs> <laughs> but since we were talking about robberies. Hey, uh, listen, look like a squirrel for real. Stop eating, CP. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga started looking like a squirrel. I'm traumatized right there. <laughs> I ain't said shit since CP started acting like a squirrel. I'm like, nigga, I'm really thinking this nigga's a squirrel now. I want to see that show. Oh, too much shit. Nigga, I want to see a, a squirrel from the city go to Jamaica. That's the best cartoon I ever heard of, nigga. Nigga. Squirrels go like wild. Squirrels, squirrels got a squirrels top five quick as This time is going to get nuts. It's, it's so many movie titles. <laughs> squirrels got a top five. Y'all know five the difference of a female oh, no. squirrel or a male you know squirrel? What else is good? Listen, you can call these all of them, right? And every time you lock somebody up, your slogan is, I just bust a nut. And that'll be like your shit to let motherfuckers know that you can, like, you could be a superhero, nigga. And whenever you motherfuckers stop a bad guy, like, let's say you lock a raccoon up, right? You just bust a raccoon. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Move your, move your hand, Chico. Move yeah, your hand. You holding the speaker. You hold the speaker. Oh, my bad. I did, like, this shit got me excited. But look, <laughs> it's, a, it's a raccoon meth ring in the hood, right? It's a raccoon meth ring, and you the only niggas that, that can save it. So you the superhero squirrel, and every time you fuck a raccoon up or something, you just I just bust a nut. Like every time, that's your slogan, nigga. We can get some t-shirts printed up with that shit on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I and just the bust a nut. Like hella, I just bust a nut, hella nigga. Slimy. Raccoons is hella grimy too. And, oh. and they got like hands and shit. And they got the little mask on. So they are, you know what I'm saying? Like the raccoons are like. Raccoons you know? definitely wear black air forces as their standard. Facts. Yeah. Facts. No, raccoons, no, raccoons is niggas that work on hard, but they really scary. Nah, raccoons My nigga, stand on their hands. realize we writing a movie right now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, for Netflix. This oh, one bro, is bro. raccoons hold their babies like hood rats. I just want to play this. Can I play the ratchet raccoon? I just want to be the ratchet yes. raccoon when they be like, where the fuck you been at? Yes, you been in everybody's you garbage can. can, but you in my garbage can, you in her garbage can. Like, how many cans you going to be in, Charles? Right. Right. Hold on, boy. No, you bring a chick to a nice ass garbage can, can. that means you fuck with her. Hold on, wait, because Ty. Right, Ty, and then, and, but the thing is, <laughs> it's a possum she fucking with. She's fucking with the possum, nigga. So mm. that's why she keep getting to go to the nice trash can, because you know the possums be in the nice neighborhood. The raccoons be in the hood, so. That's what I'm listen, saying. <laughs> Let me be a ratchet raccoon. We gotta like this shit. We gotta I think it's saying raccoons being in the hood, possums being in the white neighborhoods. <laughs> yeah, possum. I ain't never hit a possum in the hood, nigga. The king of squirrels. He fucking all the young squirrels. That's that's your that's your that's your that's your calling, Ty. That's your calling. You gotta get ready for it, bro. Hold hey, on, what you y'all say? We need to make a hood movie animation with animals. Yeah. But yeah. like hood shit, like the possum is the only hood animal. up the dope. Like we, we really could Man, do this. I want to be. I wouldn't want to be a squirrel. I would want to be some other shit. Nah, I want to be a pit bull, nigga. Lou, you the pit bull. You the player ass pit bull from the hood. <laughs> you a player ass pit bull. You a red nose pit bull. Lou, Lou. You a red nose pit bull. He was like, all right, cool. Listen, Lou, a uh, pit bull from Oakland, like, hey. <laughs> oh, mamas, nigga. Oh, nigga. Oh, he got a nigga. dog popping his collar and this shit, man. What's going on? Tell the rest of you turn it I'm popping the dog collar, though. He popping the dog I'm popping the dog collar. Like he like this. He like this with it. Pop the dog collar, nigga. That's his dick. Hey, dog. 
That nigga hella cool and shit. Like, man, what y'all niggas on, man? Let me go back in the house while I bite one of these motherfuckers out here. Hey, man, you hit it on the money because there ain't no hood movie about no hood animals because we got animals in the hood, man. Bro, yeah, we got imagination. Like nothing about that. that. Yo, yeah, a New yeah. York pigeon? The pigeon from New York? We got well, little hey, cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Can we put it on your That's network? Cool. We got to put it on That's Kev's cool. network. They shit on everybody. pigeon in the hood. <laughs> This, this hey, the movie's in LA, but she's a pigeon from New York in LA. Hey, these niggas got me fucked up, B. One more of these niggas eating my bread, see? Nigga, I'm <laughs> the dub, nigga. Yo, I'm at the beach. Like, this is why I don't fuck with seagulls. You see? This is why I don't fuck with y'all, man. <laughs> Telling you, man. Look, they, you got got movie. Movie. They got, pigeons don't never got... be scared, bro. They don't be flying. They walk. You be trying to scare them. They like, man, watch out. Yo, I almost <laughs> hit a pigeon in New York because this nigga didn't want to fly. And I'm like, yo, you supposed to move, hey. B. Hey, you know who the shady birds would be? The hood niggas would be bats. Like, niggas that shady only pop out in the dark and just be looking at niggas <laughs> and shit out. Be like, oh, nigga, bats. niggas are scared of the bats on bats the movie. Somebody get Tony. We already got Tony Baker. That nigga know what to listen. We, we halfway there. <laughs> we have we nigga, 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 right. all the voices for the animals all right. Right. So all we got to do is just tap in with him to see what we want to be. Nigga, you want to what you want to be, nigga? You know, to see what we want to be. Tony Banker gonna be like Eddie Murphy in Coming to America. He gonna be doing 16 voices for, for 16 different animals. It doesn't animals. matter, Doc, but you imagine the police horse in the hood, how he fuck with the animals when the police oh, horse yeah. in the hood. Or in the hood. Oh my God. Police horse? If Tony Banker was one of the horses for the, horse horse the, horse horse the black cowboys in LA, nigga, that's nigga. it. And he run into a police horse, an LAPD horse. The horses from the hood and cop there run into an <laughs> LAPD horse. Oh, <laughs> man. You a cop? <laughs> <laughs> what our ancestors have ran from? Yo, and you know, you you gotta have like a hotep dog that was with the little hat. We was wolves. See, that's your problem. Y'all in the house. You understand me? They grand rising, my brother, grand rising. What y'all gotta understand, y'all been domesticated, you know what I'm saying? We've been aggravated and resituated. We was wolves. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's a, 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 that's a dog talking to some coyotes. Some hey, shit. the dog named King. See, now, Brother King has told us Furthermore, <laughs> if a man raises a newspaper to me, I shall bite the hand that feedeth me. And I'm going to tell you that right now. Hey, hey, Kev would be like a motherfucking German Shepherd. You know, niggas like German Shepherds, but they fuck with the police. So they, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, he fuck with this nigga, but he fuck around and do some other shit. <laughs> right. Nigga, German Shepherd in the hood. Oh, here come this, here come this bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Look, every time a person, every time a black person walks by, Kev barks at him. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just in my nature. It's in my nature. <laughs> I was trying to do this. I was trying to do this. Kev a nigga, but he not. <laughs> <laughs> right, what happened to my character? What happened to my character? Like, this is brilliant, man. Oh, that's it. You the police. Brilliant. Brilliant shit. Why well, I got to be the police? In the comments, Niggas fuck with German Shepherds, bro. But Niggas yes. always want one. They just can't afford it. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I wish I had one of the motherfuckers, man. Listen, you got the guinea pigs. Nigga get to be the guinea pigs. They all types of shit, man. Motherfucker got one bird in the hood. The bird in the hood, the OG, oh, though. Shit. The bird, the OG, he just sit in the window all day. That's who, that's who narrate every episode. Nigga, that's Carlos. The bird that sit in the window. I was going to say, that's Carlos. That's Carlos all Carlos day. Carlos the bird. Yeah. Lowe's, Lowe's, Lowe's the bird that sit in the window. The episode hold on, hold on, always hold on. come on with him oh, yeah. like we got a good story. Because he see everything cage. in the hood. He's sitting in his cage, but he watching everything play out. He watching yeah. everything. Ty is the cat that looks at yeah. everybody. She act like she coming outside, but she don't really fuck with nobody. They be like, y'all bring your ass down there. They be like, okay, cool. I'll be right there. She closed the window. It's like, I ain't fucking with them niggas. I don't know what they got. I ain't going out there. <laughs> and see Peter Sproul. He be squirrel, squirrel. Man. He watch, squirrel. He be watching hella, the squirrel. He's watching the squirrel. Hella energy. <laughs> hella energy. I'm annoying, but at the end, I get hit by a car and then they fuck everybody up. And they be like, we got to do it for Lil Saint. Right. <laughs> oh, 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 we, oh, oh, at that point, when we're like, you pass away and then we all at the funeral singing the masterpiece, sitting in the ghetto, thinking about <laughs> all my squirrels that passed away. <laughs> Hey, that nigga Lou, like, nigga, I used to chase that nigga since I was a puppy, my nigga. A puppy, my nigga. <laughs>
<laughs> Instead of me saying on mama, I'm gonna say on, on puppies, nigga. <laughs> 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 Hilarious. <laughs> that shit go crazy. There's so many in your windows and so many funny parts. Like we fall in camp. And what? And this whole boy to a party. There's a whole boy like, man, there's a whole lot of bitches in here. And then Cam's like, hey man, don't call them man. He's like, what? These bitches is bitches. They're literally bitches. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's the scientific term for them. Like we really are dumb. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Every time something like that happened, the, the knowledgeable dog pop out of nowhere. Yes, that is the scientific term. Like, nigga. That is, you know, <laughs> it's real. We always had it. You had it moments every time, nigga. And whenever something happened, the nigga, the, the intelligent motherfucking dog just pop out. No, actually, my brother, you are not a squirrel. You are elevated. You're them telling you this shit is classic, man. We got to do it. Hey, y'all need to keep this for... Um, for proof of concept, man. Yo, the, according to YouTube, ain't bro. nobody been thinking like this. This is hilarious. <laughs> Only as a cat that's super reckless that just be smacking people, man. Skibbity paps, man. Like, yo, man, you gotta chill with all that, bro. You gotta stop trying to oh, skibbity paps, hey. man. Only gotta be the sheriff, though, or some kind of like skibbity pap, like you know, saying like everybody's scared of the skibbity pap thing. Like, hey, what you know, man? you know, what I'm saying like patrolling the hood, everybody put, put, put the dope away. <laughs> why we always here? try to make why we making Tony and Kev the police? <laughs> I, don't know how I, I introduced the knowledgeable. Yeah, I want Kev to be the knowledgeable. Kev is trying to be king. Kev is king. I was trying to be Tony king. the police. Y'all made, made me the cop. I introduced the character that I thought I would fit well with. Y'all was like, nah, you a cop though. You I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I do feel like you're yeah. really barking in your nah, you know what? no goddamn reason. This shit like to prove yourself to us. You got to kill a police horse, nigga. If you want to be down over here, you got to kill a police horse. <laughs> nah, he got to lead us to all the dope. A horse, you know? Chico. He got to lead us to all the dope. <laughs> kill a police horse, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> prove you ain't with the police, nigga. <laughs> like, nah, nah, you nah. You really down. Horse. Chico, that's the most <laughs> Philly shit I ever heard, bro. <laughs> Now you got you got to lead us to where all the bones is buried, Kev. You got to talk. Oh, oh, you got to carry the police force to prove that's, you with us, right? That's you how we're ready. You got it. Yeah, yeah, you want to put out the English bulldog with Frank? <laughs> nigga, put down a picture of the police. Be out there trying to hold it. Hey, and then, and then, as soon as Chico character say that, I'm gonna say on puppies. <laughs> no, on puppies. <laughs> oh, yeah. You gotta nah, kill Chico, that horse. You gotta be like, we want you to bite him in the neck. You gotta bite this horse. Right. In the neck. You gotta it's use your back teeth. Like <laughs> you gotta use your back teeth. It's <laughs> gonna be like when they had to kill Wallace on the wire. Like he gonna be like, y'all, come on, exactly. come on, come on, man, come on, man. This me. Oh, God, man. Stand up and be a man. Take it like a man. <laughs> That's right. hell funny. That's oh, telling you, man. I, this needs hey, to be, this needs to be a series. Models, this can't be no movie. This definitely got to be a series. Because I need it's a series. series. It's yeah, like a Netflix yeah. series. Because every a episode is a different, every episode is a different it's animal a different in the shit. hood. There's so many you can come up with, man. Like this nigga, the squirrel, and he got a flying squirrel that's like got all of the, the motherfucking in his, in his family with all the money can fly. And then so you, he really the outcast. That's how he End up in the hood with us because we the only squirrel in this family that can't fly. That episode, we got to go back home to the flying squirrels and show his back flop, his background, nigga. That's a whole episode man, right and, there. Y'all missing about not, all the, all the, all the rats, true. man. You forget about all the rats that's in New York, too, man. It's, them niggas is everywhere. Rats ain't just, they ain't just local, man. These is international. Hey, you know, rats, you know, you know, you know how pit bulls be having hella puppies and shit? I got to end up getting a, a little a dog pregnant like, damn, y'all. I'm having a son type shit. And then I'm going to have to team up with niggas to get more money and shit to take care of my family. Hell right. shit. That's like, and you ain't just having a son. You know dogs have nine, ten puppies. Right. Nine, yeah. Nine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, got, he got a couple And then we do an episode right where you had to, had to, had to, had to join trying to get a, 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 a unemployment. Or you go down to try to find no, what, what gotta happen? Oh, we gotta have these niggas in his front yard doing push ups with his seven sons. <laughs> nah, listen, he gotta have another female uh, uh, bitch come around, like, and I'm pregnant too. Like, you gotta have it. Yeah, 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 you know, pit bulls be hella trifling. It's like, damn, look. How many bitches you got? Like, you got the whole block pregnant. And this shit ain't even a bad bitch. It ain't a bad bitch. Like, you got like. You got like a mutt pregnant. Like, yeah, that's you what like it is. A, like, oh, you got a, a cop and spaniel. But nah, he got a, a purebred, he got like a purebred poodle. Mix. 
We right. got a purebred right. poodle in Beverly Hills, but he came right. to Compton and got this little street dog, little mutt. I fucked a little ugly ass bulldog or something. Right. Nigga got horny that's one night. Not. Fuck one of them ugly ass bulldogs because they got clout. <laughs> you don't fuck with that. Hey night. man, I'm pug. telling you, bro. A little pug, bitch. A little pug, bitch. A pug. Pug. Yeah. I done fuck with little pugs. You got a little Frenchie bulldog. Man, this bitch. Uh, this bitch got a million followers on Instagram. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. What's up, Ty? So, um, because I've been enjoying our conversation and also reading the comments. So I would like to address some of the people in the comments because clearly they they don't know what's happening here. There are seven professional stand-up comedians on this zone, okay? And seven people cannot all speak at the same time. So I'm not speaking because I am listening and being entertained by my colleagues and my comrades. So if you guys want me to speak, then you wait like I'm patiently oh, waiting and being entertained. So to put it mildly, leave me the fuck alone and just enjoy us while we zooming with the homies. We talking about cartoons right now. You're welcome. Thank you. Go ahead. What y'all was saying? That's why she the cat. That's right. The cat in the window on the second floor that thinks she too good to come down with everybody. Listen, right. I is a fuck cat. All y'all. Ty is a cat that went to Spelman. She she like, oh yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, not even how when she went to the all girls. Well, she school. went to Spelman. <laughs> she, like, she don't even, she don't, her cat don't never move fast. She always just like, oh, the nerve of you. Did you, did you go to Clark or a lab? Oh my god, this uh. she was no, because, to walk you know, around because, with her tail like, up and her yeah, asshole people, all the way out for everybody to see. You know what I'm saying? Like some of the people are being annoying, not like the, the regular people, not like the Yam fam, the, the cool people. I think it's like some new people that's watching and maybe they don't know how things go here. And we can all have a good time together, but we can't all speak together. We are professionally trained individuals and we can't all speak at the same time. So that's what I'm doing. I'm enjoying my friends. Thank you. Mind your business. You're welcome. And here's the messed up part about the internet. Now that you talking, now that you talking, there's gonna be people in the comments that bitch talking too much. Whoever just came in just now is gonna be like you talking too much. That's the thing, is you can't please people, man. So don't try. You know what I mean? Do you? You was having a good time. We didn't already gave you your role and everything. These motherfuckers don't understand the greatness that's being laid down. When they got to watch on Netflix, they'll appreciate it. She gotta them. be somebody mama. She gotta be like a little pet that's somebody mama. Like, don't take your ass outside hanging out with them squirrels. <laughs> I'm the cat. That's the part I'm doing. I'm the cat minding my business oh. watching. Shows. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Lewis, Lewis gotta be like, hey man, I know she ain't even the same species, but I still fuck the shit out of that cat. Oh, well, <laughs> you already know I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, shit, I hit a cat. <laughs> I hit a cat. To listen to the joke. Hey, the you gotta have a super I crush a on the cat. Like, man, I always want to be I'm Ooh, I'll tear that little pussy, pussy up. Come on, man. <laughs> This shit right as hell. <laughs> she gotta tear that little like, pussy up, nigga. Tear that little pussy up. Talking right. about spying on somebody. <laughs> you I gotta spy wanna be, on her. <laughs> I just want to be talking shit while I'm knocking over get, uh, trash cans and shit. That's all I want to do. I want to be oh, nosy. I want to fuck up shit. That's all hey, I want. Hey, Kev. Kev. I think this would be a perfect time for you to go ahead and tell that New York story. We ain't forgot. Oh, come on, man. We was having a good time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go, baby thing. boy. Nicks. Tell me about I my next. You thought we forgot about that as a group, man. You know I did. Uh, we remember. You know I'm paying. Next is how we do it. All right, come on. All right, so <laughs> we we in New York uh, at the New York Comedy Fest. We get out early. I'm I'm like, yo, let's go to a Knicks game. I've never been to Madison Square Garden, man. I'm going to put the team on. I'm going to buy tickets. We in the cab going to the thing. And I'm like, man, I should just get the tickets right now. They're like, nah, nah, wait, man. Wait till the game start. The ticket price is going to go down. So I'm like, bet, we'll wait. So we get out early. We're heading back in the uh, Uber to Madison Square Garden. Maybe we even walk into Madison Square Garden. So I'm on the ticket app, Shutterfly or whatever. Not Shutterfly, but uh, Ticket Ticketmaster? Uh, not Ticketmaster. It was something else that was like StubHub. It was StubHub. Uh, Ticketmaster sold out. StubHub, the resale price was sold out. So by the time we, I, I, I finished looking, we at the Madison Square Garden. So a brother... You understand me, a brother? Mm. He like, hey man, I got tickets, I got tickets. Next game, man, come get it for me. I'm like, oh, perfect, perfect. Black man, the black man, so he easy, gonna be bro. all right. I'm gonna support small business. You know what I'm saying? You, start, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> how much are the tickets? He's like, how many you need, bro? I like, I need, I need seven. 
He was like, bro, I got seven for you right now. $50 each. I'm like, oh, this is great. Perfect. Right? I'm like, what's the total on that? He's like 400. I'm like, great. I don't even do the math that seven times uh, 50. Eight, wait, hold on. What was it? Supposed to be 350. Okay. I'm like, all right, I ain't got no cash. Oh, you gonna, you gonna ride with him? <laughs> He's like, oh, you gonna ride with him? Cool. Like, I ain't got no cash, man. He's like, bro, there's a Chase ATM right behind you. I turn around, there's literally all these Chase ATMs right next to Madison, Madison Square Garden. I'm like, perfect. I get to support a uh, black owned business. I get to see the Knicks. Me and my homies get a great experience. I go pull out the 400, okay? He hands me the tickets. We walk inside. First group, show him the ticket. He like, come on in, sir. I'm like, clearly these are real because the first guard let us in. He just show him, he waved us on through. They pat us down, boom. We walk all the way through the corridor, up the thing, all the way around. I could hear the basketball. Dribbling, I'm like, oh, I can hear it. It's gonna be a great day. I hand this man the first ticket. Man, hold on, just just try this one. Boop, uh, it, it started. The and was louder than the boot. Boop, uh, uh, uh. Uh. So he showed me the ticket. Part of the ticket says today's date and today's game. The stub part of the ticket says yesterday's date. And yesterday's game, they done cut the stubs off from the game. They throw the stubs on the floor after the game. They done pick those up, reattach those to just a block of, you know, card stock. Yeah. Okay. I walk all the way back outside like, man, let's the dude is here. I'm getting my money back. I promise you, we get outside. Not a black man within 10 city blocks. There was 40 niggas outside selling tickets. They was licking their lips, taking turn. I got him, no, I got him, bro, no, I got him. We get back out there, it was like a smoke bomb. Everybody disappeared. Ain't no black people, period. We standing on the street with, with seven tickets to two games and no Knicks, no Madison Square Garden. Was, this, was the game still going on? The game is going, uh, first quarter, Lou. The game you just know, started. You should have resold them motherfuckers to somebody else and got I your money back. That is the oldest trick in the book. You don't No, know they should have let you in the game. If you got that far, you deserve to get in. Like that's what I <laughs> come on, bro. Like you really going. We didn't already got past the hard part. My nigga, come on, we can stand that's up everything. You don't good. know about tickets outside of the game. I I trusted another brother, that's right? I'm book. looking in my eyes, like clearly he wouldn't do me wrong. And he was looking he in your eyes like that. clearly this nigga is, don't believe me, but okay. He saw the biggest lollipop on the street. He saw a sucker. They was they was licking their chops to take my phone on it. I can't believe you, Kev. Oh, hey, I, I, I gotta let y'all know real quick. Uh, this is not my house. I don't know whose house it is. And it just got quiet. The lights is turning off. So I'm gonna get the fuck out of here before I become a burglar. All right, I just want to say thank y'all, man. Hey, take on here. I met personally. And I fuck with y'all, CP. You already know, Lou. You yeah, know, Kev. You know I'm a huge fan. It's fine. It's good to finally get to interact with you. I can't wait till we meet in person. But I gotta get out of these people's houses because we in Atlanta, and I don't know where I met, and I don't want this to be the area where you're not supposed to be in. So I love y'all. <laughs> really be safe, Chico. Bye, bro. The yeah, crazy thing about the, uh, the Knicks that same night, the Knicks. Um, <laughs> The Knicks PR team reached out and was like, Kev, don't ever, like literally DM me and was like, Kev, don't ever buy tickets from outside Madison Square Garden. The Next hell? time you're in New York, we're going to get you floor seats. <gasps> and I ain't never been back to New York during basketball season. Did the Knicks hit you and said that? The Knicks hit me up directly. I, mean, I think I see you post that, dude. Oh, yeah, that's wrong. I mean, yeah. the Knicks are doing pretty bad. Question? They just giving away floor seats anyway. They, so. they really are, Lulu. They was like, you can meet the players. <laughs> They was like, you want to suit up, Kev? Yeah, the next day you come here, you you'll be the power forward, and we'll start you. <laughs> They're like, Kev, what's your size? Large, medium? Ooh, we got to know. What number yeah. you want? Seven, 11? Which, which yeah. you? I'm what like, up, can you? I transfer my shit for Brooklyn Nets? <laughs> you better keep those, boy. What you talking bro, about? Bro, how do you, how do you, oh, how do you know everybody, bro? How do you, how do you, how do you know everybody? 
explain this to me. How do you, what's the sauce? How do you know everybody? What do you mean know everybody? Nigga, it be like, so, man, I went down to Disneyland. They was like, oh, okay, well, stay this year. They shut down the park. You know, <laughs> Mickey, you know what I'm saying? It was just me and my family. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, Mrs. Daisy Duck sucked my dick in the, uh, by the, uh, like, nigga, what the fuck? This nigga just get love. You no know what I'm saying? bro. I ain't going to hold you, CP. I do not know. My wife was so mad about the Knicks tickets. I mean, she was livid, right? And I thought she was mad because I lost the money. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying, babe? It was a you know, lesson learned. She's like, I'm not mad about the money. You was out there in New York having fun without me. Facts, that's what you I'm get. Like, Girl, I'm, I was at work, like work was over. She was like, no, because it was seven o'clock New York time. This is a true story, CP. It was seven o'clock New York time, which means it's four o'clock LA time, which means I'm still at work. So you trying to go to a basketball game while I'm at work. I love her reasoning. She fought. She facts. You just gonna have fun while I'm working? Hey, and I think I just be making the videos and I just be being myself and people be like, oh man, I like this guy. I don't know. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This is how life works for Kevin. I grew up a fan of Anita Baker. I'm a big fan, but Tony Baker is a huge fan of Anita Baker, right? Knows all the Anita Baker songs, all the hits, definitely, right? Kevin just learned about Anita Baker two years ago. Two years ago was his first time really Three learning about Anita Baker. How huh? much? What was it? Three? Three. It doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> Here's the thing I'm trying to say. Kevin goes on, on, he gets on that Anita Baker run and he, oh, I love Anita Baker. She's the greatest. Sends out a couple of tweets. Tweets get retweeted. Get to Anita Baker somehow. This nigga gets backstage passes to Anita Baker's show in Las Vegas after finding out about Anita Baker six months prior. He's all oh. backstage like he's been, how much, what was that? I just want to say the part you forgot, she called me out from the stage during her concert. You lying. Yo, Kev, I've been That's trying to meet serious, Michael B. Dude. Jordan for the longest. Can you do something with your magic Hold and on. get me some of that? No, no, Ty, you over to be quiet. I'm gonna ask for my blessings. No, no, Those no, mouths no. don't get fed. To, uh, Kev, 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 you got you got the magic touch, Kev. So tell Michael B. I said, what up? He looking for funny chicks. What up? Like, what's good? Like, stars are aligning. I don't know if stars it translates to other people, but I'm gonna hit him. Uh, everybody crazy. don't got that. Some people just got it, and some people don't. I'm not talking yeah, to you, Lou. Right. Talking to Kev. Stars. Gucci. Gucci was absolutely the kid that cost the class the pizza party. That's a great tweet, Kev. That's that, that, that's <laughs> Kevin's favorite tweet. Thank you. That's pretty that's, good. Because it was because, bro. It was because Jeezy gave that whole speech about unity and not getting people killed, and then Gucci played another diss track after that. Like, yo, come on, we trying to get pizza. Bro, I'm never going to go to the pizza party. And if I can't go, nobody can go. Bro. It was so rude, bro. Mm. So rude. <laughs> he did it out. Jeezy, you know Jeezy was waiting for that. Like, you know Jeezy knew Gucci was going to play that song. You know mm. he did. So mm. he had his speech ready. He prepared it in the mirror and all that stuff. And, and, and Jeezy did all that. And he thought Gucci was going to meet him. He was like, I smell, <laughs> I smell Gucci, man. Nah, that's Jeezy. Are you serious? Bruh, I just watched it. I just watched the whole clip. That nigga said smoking on his homeboy tonight, like smoking on the pack, like smoking on that pookie loaf. Oh. Uh, bro. See, <laughs> y'all failing to Hold on, hold on. They're old niggas. Yeah. Put that nigga ass in the dirt. I'll tell you what. Smoking on. Smoking on. When you kill your homeboy, you left your son to be a bachelor, won't even raise your homeboy. Ty, what were you saying? Ty, what were you that, saying? No, see, that's my point. Like, people were like, oh, it's going to be some drama. And I'm like, no, nah, nigga, Gucci and Jeezy are not showing up to this battle. It was Mr. Davis and Mr. Jenkins, and they was just talking shit because that's what old niggas do. All they do is talk shit and rub their knees and shake their keys at each other. Them niggas was not going to fight. Yeah, Jeezy sat down. Jeezy was like, I ain't going to even stand up no more, man. You niggas is... <laughs> Yo, somebody in the comments said that. Somebody in the verses said, Gucci make me, <laughs> Gucci make music for people who put their whole mouth on the water fountain. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. 
Hey, dog. Hey. <laughs> Hey, let's talk about, let's do some of those. Like, nigga, Gucci made music for niggas who pull their pants and drawers down at the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> Gucci makes songs for niggas that eat their boogers. <laughs> Gucci make music for dudes that finger pop girls without washing their hands first. Oh. Oh. Who works? The girl or the girl? Never mind. So, uh, <laughs> Gucci. Gucci yeah. make music for niggas that sell fake Knicks tickets outside of Madison Square. <laughs> <laughs> Gucci make music for niggas that's musty and just wipe the must off with their t-shirt and keep it pushing with their whole day. Gucci make songs for niggas that wear lace fronts. That's what he doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gucci make songs for niggas that keep their whole keys in their pocket. Like. Gucci make songs for niggas that got Louis Vuitton cars. <laughs> Who you make music for niggas that got pimped out minivans? Oh shit! Hey, but yeah, man. Who Jeezy make music for? Wait, where where Kevin go? Jeezy make niggas. Jeezy make songs for niggas that's trying to get some money. Uh, oh shit! Oh, we I, can't talk about I, Jeezy. Make songs for I, niggas I, with uh, bronchitis. Oh, where you go, Kev? Jeezy make asthma attack music. Here, I don't want to be on this no more. <laughs> that nigga sounded like his kids. I don't want to do this. I, I'm leaving. I, I... Uh, hey, man, we just joking, man. Come on, Kev. Kev, hey, man. Kev, we love you, Kev. Uh, I'm done. Hey, so back, here's Kev. A, so here's a You're jerk. I can't believe you fell for that, though. It was like, no! That's the one on one on the streets. I trusted the man outside, but there's a reason why he outside of the yeah. stadium and not at Ticketmaster. It's a I reason why he bought, don't got to register. I bought tickets from Scalpers before and they were legit in Seattle. We bought Seahawks tickets before the game and, and walk right in. We bought Sonics tickets outside. This wasn't my first time buying them outside. It was my first time being beat outside. And also, I'm very well aware that Seattle is not New York. I that was the mistake that I made. <laughs> Did you say Sonic tickets? Did you say Seattle Supersonics? We used to buy Sonic tickets, man. <laughs> That's why. Them shits is the easy counterfeit. You can't counterfeit in 2020 now. Like, what are you doing? They have the beep beeps. They didn't have the beep beeps back then. Yeah, you're right. They they beat me out there. I had the beep beep. They beat me <laughs> out that bread. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said those were white people. <laughs> But those were white people. Oh. Man, that shit's so funny, dog. Oh, so many good stories on the road. Man, so dog, I'm loving stuff. Twitter right now, bro. Somebody said, uh, this how the Rona gonna pull up to the compound tonight looking for Jeezy and Gucci. <laughs> oh, it's blue. It's the it's the belly intro with Nas with the glowing eyes. Like, it's shit funny as fuck, whatever. Sorry, guys, I got a blue screen. <laughs> Bro, the only, one of the main things I thought about while I was watching this, the battle was like, yo, none of these niggas really got their mask on. Gucci's whole team was masked. No, everybody masked. in Atlanta not wearing, they ain't wearing no mask. They not doing that shit. They not. Meg Scoop hurt her foot last week. She say, uh, she twisted, she was playing kickball. She she twisted her ankle, throwing the oh. ball, right? We're like, why the fuck you outside just playing kickball like a pandemic ain't going on right now? She was mm -hmm. like, my team, it was our game that weekend. What? what? Y'all just still living regular life? So wait, you mean to tell me your kickball team is more important than the pandemic? <laughs> that was like, funny, I gotta be there for this, man. Life has that been so funny. hard, but this kickball team been holding me down. <laughs> oh, I don't understand. I don't like I don't understand this pandemic stuff. Like, like I'm watching the news and the news is like, you're all gonna die if you go outside. But then I'm scrolling down my timeline and niggas is at the party, they smoking hookah. Like, what, where, where is it? Where is the Rona? I, like, I don't understand. People got different levels of comfort and concern. That's the only thing I can, I can equate it to. Like. So how many, I, how I many, okay, how many worldwide cases are they talking about right now? A lot. I, mean, I don't know, a lot. but last week, nineteen hundred people died in the states from it, and that was the most that has ever. LA died. just beat. LA just passed, I believe, five thousand cases today. They put new. Uh, they put new restrictions on. I believe starting Sunday, to Monday, right? The curfew, right? Yeah, the curfew and the 
outside you can't be with more than 15 people restaurants outside you can't have more than 50 percent well, hold on Five, only fuck with actors and, and it's 19 everybody getting covid tests who are actors and entertainers i can't fuck with y'all regular people y'all don't be taking no listen i got no live for different productions i had three covid tests on monday from separate <clears throat> each production makes you get their own like one yeah so i had to get i had i gotten one I've had five COVID tests in the last week. I've had three. Yeah. Well, Thursday, like, oh, I did two. I did two. See? They, Hollywood is like, once Hollywood got the test, they was like, all right, we back in business. We got to pay for all these tests, then we just got to pay for all these tests. These mm -hmm. movies are not finna stop for a whole I nother year. I can tell you. Though, anyways, like, also, like, we're going to say we tested y'all. We're going to act like I'm testing y'all. We ain't letting you motherfuckers fail. We shooting this motherfucking thing. We just doing it. So we for real. Yeah. They, they doing it like how niggas do. Like, are you good? Are you good? I mean, you been exactly. right? you been good. They, they doing good. it like you know, like hood clubs where you just act like you getting checked. Like you good? No, you good. Come on, like nigga, they ain't picking up <laughs> this motherfucker. Nah, they doing it like who like, you been around? Are they good? If they was good, then you good. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. I'm gonna get out of here. It's been a long day. I love you to hear. God bless y'all, everybody. We gotta make that cartoon. It was the best idea ever. <laughs> CP, you're a genius. Oh, also, CP, congratulations on your thing, bro. I meant to, I meant to yeah. be, bro. Oh, Listen, mama. I be so inspired, bro. You are so creative and so funny, bro. I want everything that's happening to you to happen faster, bro. You, you're you one of the funniest people in the world. And every time I see you on deadline, I be like, bro, this bro finna get it. And you deserve it all, bro. Thank you, man. Yes. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I love y'all, man. I'll catch y'all later. I can I get yeah, I did ask was like super happy for you, CP. Like I loved I love to see friends win, but it's different when you see talented friends win. Exactly. Like yeah. niggas that you know like genuinely deserve it. I'm like, yo, if anybody deserves anything right now, it's definitely CP. Like uh, hands you. down. You. Like you deserve all of that shit. I appreciate that, man. For real. I mean a lot, man. You know, y'all are my peers and we're a talented bunch. And so that's like, you know what I'm saying? I think that, you know, um, I expect a lot from us. And so I think that, you know, when, when we give each other praise, it's dope because I don't even, I don't do it for that. You know, this is what I came out here to do. This is what we all came out here to do. Mm -hmm. And so, you know what I'm saying? I, I applaud y'all and we all, you know, I, I try to include and help as many people as I can. You know what I'm saying? The same, you know, so yeah, I appreciate it for real. Of course. Make appreciate me believe it could happen to us. For real <laughs> shit. And congrats to you too to hear you got your blue check, blue check. Bye. Yeah, man, I've been trying to get that for a minute. For you to get that, yo, that's man, you out here in these streets. Man, he he don't even deserve to celebrate. He's supposed to be here that shit. It don't even matter at this point. Nah, man, you hey, still I, deserve I, I it, man. Working, bro. I, I've I been just trying just to get it for ten years, man. You still celebrate that shit every minute. It's oh, it's, it's hard, I mean, it's hard work and dedication. I celebrate all the wins appropriately, but I always keep working, man. Like I just, I, I, I try not to relish in the moment too much. I know there comes a time when I'll be able to like really wild out, but like, I'm still like, I mean, shit, for the most part, I'm still like grinding, you know? Cause this shit is still so <laughs> unsure of what the next six months is gonna be. We made it through like the first six months. We were like, all right, well, what the fuck? Are we going back down, down? Or is it going, like, is it back to like zero? We got to start all the way over. So now it's just like, all right, well, let's like, well, we go from there so i don't really like i don't really take my foot off the gas too much but you know i, I do try to appreciate the small things and that's why i'm gonna get in trouble tonight because yesterday was a long day of filming and i don't know some of y'all saw i had to have nick start off yesterday's show because i was still on set at seven o'clock so nick hosted for me jazzy jeff came and it was a great time tonight we got chico on i've been trying to get chico and that's that's big ups to cp that lets y'all know like how we really work like I couldn't, I mean, I'm sure Chico saw the tweets that y'all retweet, and I definitely appreciate it, but it took somebody like CP who has the relationship and reaching out and him being a solid nigga and him reaching back out to me on the strength of CP and his relationship. And when he reached out, it was on some genuine shit. Hey man, I apologize. I've been busy. Uh, I ain't want you to think I'm on no Hollywood shit. I've just been busy. He came to me on some G shit and we, we, we moved dates around like three or four times, but we finally got it happening. And he stayed on on his phone, G. So like that says a lot about the relationship that him and CP had, but also the type of person that CP really is, nigga. because it couldn't just be anybody from the show that be like, yo, you need to fuck my nigga. Like, you know, check, check him out, he's trying to holler at you. Like, it had to be somebody that he genuinely had a respect for mm -hmm. and a relationship with to vouch on. And also the fact that CP vouched for me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I appreciate you being a real one. I hit Lou up, motherfucker, 
40 minutes before the show because Kev said he couldn't, he possibly couldn't do it. Now, I had been trying to get Lou on the show, but I didn't have his contact. And I hit him up on Instagram and I kept checking and it never said seen. I was like, this nigga, this, my message is going to the other folder. So he went live tonight. I was like, nigga, check your inbox. And that's why I lose here. But like for him to stop what he was doing and come on a show, you know what I'm saying? That type of respect that I have for my peers and my friends, man, I don't take it for, for granted, but I know it you also know, comes with like, it gotta be work like, that. That like niggas know you really about business, niggas know you don't work. So they'll 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 sacrifice their time to come on the show. You know what I'm saying? And uh I appreciate it. I appreciate all y'all, man, for real. Really do. Uh, no, so, we appreciate you, man. Thanks. Yeah, it's, it's a good it's a good feeling, man. Um um uh, shit, I lost my train of thought. That little ass mic got you all fucked up, huh? <laughs> Lulu. <laughs> Cause you know what comedians when we get stuck, we be sitting there, we grab a mic and we be like, uh, yeah, nah, you ain't got no mic to grab, nigga. You was just sitting in there like, mm. You need a roach clip to hold that mic. Like, Where the roach clip at? Like, give me a roach clip so I can hold this mic. Remember roach clips? I need to give LA, huh? Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> You gotta hey, do the man, thing. Listen, um, I'm going to give y'all a heads up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the end of the year, last two weeks of the year, I'm going to take off. All right. Um, we might have some guest hosts for the second to last week of December, Nick and maybe a couple other people. And then the last week of December, going into the new year, the show is going to go dark. Um, just to like give it a chance to cool off and give everybody a chance to like, Re re recoup and recharge and no one have to worry about being booked or anything like that. So I'm just giving y'all the heads up so it won't be a surprise. I'll try to remind you every week, but it's going to start happening. I feel myself getting burnt out and I don't want to lose something like this because I think it's magical. I think that what we we have here are people who didn't get a chance to meet when the world was open. Like, Ty, have you ever met Lewis? No. Lewis is one of the funniest people from Oakland. Like I've seen, I've down, been seeing, genetic. you know, see oh, like the, the name and stuff. Like I've been seeing you online and some of your stuff. Yeah. But I didn't get a chance to see your uh, your special though because I ain't had the money that day. Um, no, that's good. I'm a, I'm gonna re-release it too. We're gonna put it on Amazon um, Prime so like everybody can watch it for free. It's on Amazon right now, but you know we we we'll relaunch it so everybody can watch it for free. Oh, uh, you can buy it on Amazon now. Yeah, you could buy it on Amazon right now. Then I'm buying that bitch right after right after we finish it. I'm gonna do it after this because you know they they how much is the in the cash app. It's six, it's six dollars on Amazon Prime. It's oh, called it's Richard six. Richard. I got you for the six. You should have learned yeah, with exactly. that, right? Exactly. I thought it was like fourteen ninety nine. I ain't had it. Nah, nah. Yeah, I thought you were gonna hit me with the nineteen ninety nine, man. Nah, I'm gonna buy it on the I'm gonna buy it on the TV so I can watch it on all the platforms because I don't want to buy it. You should check it out, man. I I put a lot of hard old hard work. I watched the clips. I watched mm -hmm. the clips when you was fucking with Steph Curry on that bitch. Hey, mm -hmm. nigga, that's. <laughs> I definitely got to nigga, but he got a whole lot of white in him because Steph shoot the ball. <laughs> oh, mamas. Yo, oh, wow, I nigga. appreciate that. Definitely going to support that. That shit is so good, man. And I'm so glad that we are able to meet, like I said, Ty and Lou, um, mm -hmm. and, and really get to learn each other. And when the world opens up, hopefully it'll bring us that much closer. Uh, and we can, um, you know, continue to help each other out, continue to bless each other and support each other, man. So I'm super, super excited about that, man. Um, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I might end this motherfucker a little early tonight, guys. Um, oh, I'm going to cut. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get some Chinese food out this motherfucker. <laughs> I got to go do crack them up. I ain't going to hold you up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to England. Right, I think, cool. think CP uh, we'll bust one of my stitches, so... Oh man, I'm sorry. Dude, I, already knew. I, saw, I felt it. I just felt the energy. Blue, they gave you an emoji. They gave you the dolphin emoji because of your la your laugh. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah for the sure. Give people their emojis, and they gave you like the pink dolphin emoji. Making the shit is amazing. I really like, like this. So I'm get to it now. <laughs> Anytime you pop up, nigga, you gonna see that emoji all in the comments. I promise you now. That's it's good. I can fuck up. with dolphins. Fly. I fuck with dolphins. You know what I'm saying? So I can fuck with that. I. Well, CP, go ahead and close this out first, and then you can dip, and then Lou, Ty, uh, Lulu, then Lou, and then Ty. We'll close out with that. That way, Lou, you get a chance to push the special and let people know where they can get it from as well. Okay. All right, go ahead, CP. So, so yeah, man, uh, you know, everything, every platform, Comedian CP. Um, yeah, the cat is out the bag. 2021, look out for the new cartoon on Amazon Studios. Uh, I guess it'll be on Amazon Prime. I'm not sure how they run it. Yeah, Amazon Prime. 
Um, it's called Oaklandia. Uh, it's dope, man. It's a it's a dope ass story about um, gentrification. I don't want to spoil it too much, but uh, like you know, Oakland and San Francisco and um, what's it called, uh, Silicon Valley, and how that all plays into you know one ecosystem. Uh, it's interesting, you know. And Lou is from the Bay, so Lou know you know a little bit about what I'm talking about. But I'm a you know, and then also too, me and Lou doing a podcast. Uh, me, Lou, Teddy Ray. We got a podcast that we're doing right now. Uh, so uh, we got episodes in the can. I don't know how we're going to play it. Yeah, we shooting something tomorrow. Right, but I'm saying, I don't know when we re- we releasing it, but look out for that. Oh, that motherfucker live right now. Oh, it is? Okay, yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, all right. This yeah. nigga over here, my manager in the back telling me what to say and all type of shit. Go check on YouTube, type in our name. You're going to see that motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Right. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, um, that's it, man. Shout out to everybody. Appreciate all the congrats. Uh, yeah, but the, the project Oaklandia with uh Snoop Dogg and um Vince Vaughn, uh, you know, two people who I respect for different reasons, but super duper high, so it's super dope to work with them. Uh, y'all doing a whole you- y'all doing a whole project about the Barry and nobody from the Bay on it? Uh, we ain't casted it yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, okay. some, yeah, 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 come on now, look at it, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you already know. You know what I'm saying? With me and Unc involved, it's gone. That nigga slid his business card over like. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> we gonna definitely, definitely tap in with, you know what I'm saying, with the Bay for the feel and, you know what I'm saying, just for this shit to be a classic for real. You know what I'm saying? Like really some of the black cartoons that I can remember, like the PJs, two seasons, but was so classic and iconic. Oh, that, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think that, um, you know, in my career, with even fucking with the prosthetics, I, I've done the prosthetics on my uh my adult swim show with the white face and the fat suits, and you know I've always tried to you know look at the greats, Martin Lawrence, Eddie Murphy, and try to you know what I'm saying make sure that to not copy them, but to copy uh the the, blueprint. the, the quality. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like I want my shit to be so quality and you know so thought out and so new that you can recognize <laughs> that you know what I'm trying to do would just be the new wave. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm very excited for this uh, sector of this, the whole process is the animation piece. That's dope. So, so yeah, that's that's me, man. I appreciate y'all, I love y'all, man. I'm, I'm about to hop on this road because we got a hard stop at 10 tonight. I didn't know that. I thought I was supposed to start uh, Saturday, but they texted me, boy. said, start 10. All right, y'all, peace okay. out. All right, peace. 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 Shout right, out to the cash ahead, app too, love y'all too. Okay, because my, my stitches is about to be done for the night. So, um, yeah, but that's how much I love uh, to hear because I was going to come on the other night and that was, I had like, I couldn't even open my mouth. So I was I was just trying. I was like, I don't like to miss shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be like, no, I don't want to miss anything. But you can catch me all over Instagram at Lulu underscore Gonzalez. Um, I'm also a gamer. Um, I have my own stream on Caffeine Network. You can find me at Lulu Gonzalez. I'm playing Call of Duty. I'm playing Avengers. I'm playing everything that you like. Shoot them up, bang, bang. That'd be me. Um, but I'm dropping new sketches every week. Um, it's it's always a vibe over there. So come through live and loud with Lulu on Caffeine. Be, it'd, be a, it'd be a thing. All right. There it is. I can't it's still 3,000 of y'all in here. We only got 1,300 li- likes. Y'all hella bogus for that. Y'all hella boozy for that. Uh, <laughs> that's some base shit. All right, go ahead, Lou. Tell me what you got going on. And if you got anybody that hit you up in the cash app, Lou, you can thank them too. You don't have to say the amount. If you want to just say thank everybody or you want to say their names individually, it's up to you. Mm-hmm. Um, shit, I just want to appreciate everybody that did the little cash app shit. I'm getting it. It's working. That's kind of clean. I ain't never did that. So shout out to all y'all fucking with it. But um, yeah, make sure y'all just caught my comedy special on Amazon Prime right now. It's called the Boogie Comedy Slam Rookie of the Year, starring myself, Lewis Belt. And um, I got my podcast. I'm shooting a live podcast tomorrow in North Hollywood at the Ha Ha with me, Teddy Ray, and CP. So um, we fuck with it like that. Pull up on us tomorrow. Um, you can pull up on us. only $12 to watch it. And um, shit, we fuck with it like that. Just stay tapped in with me. Follow, on, follow me on all social media at Lou Do Too Much on all social media. Lou, have we met before? No, no. I think I, I, think I would remember. Lou. Yeah, I think I would remember if it was Lulu. And- yeah, I would have remembered. Yeah. I don't think we ever met either. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, now this is dope. I fuck with y'all. Y'all saucy for sure. Wait, what? what, what you you got got- <laughs> yeah, what that y'all mean? That, that mean y'all. That mean y'all cool. That mean y'all got the drip. You know what I'm you saying? Said saucy? Yeah, I'm saucy. 
Yeah, my jurisdiction, man. We don't be like, you're cool. We'd be like, you saucy. You feel me? Oh, I'm a you you got that. that shit. Yeah, go crazy. Oh, the okay. cherries is for me? Oh, I'll take the cherries. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, man. Tahiri, man, I appreciate you having me on this motherfucker, man. Have me All again, man. Bro. Oh, yeah. same, right? oh, mamas, All I'm right. finna get up out of here, though, family. All right, get that food, okay? All right, man. All right. All right. What you got for a time? <laughs> Well, as always, to hear, thank you so much for having me, Lulu. It's so good to see you. I didn't know you were, you know, recovering. I would have hit you up earlier to, you know, check on you. See, I was, I was in the bed till about four o'clock. But um, yeah, to hear, thank you so much as always for having me, and thank you to all of the people. Uh, it's a lot of y'all this evening, so thank y'all for um, hitting me on the cash app. Um, I do have the Lost and Found podcast because I've been having people DM me about it. My podcast season one and two is still available. Season three does not kick off until the top of 2021, but I have plenty of episodes for y'all to go through, check out, follow me on my Instagram. You know, I do the stuff for the for the insomniacs late night on live. You know, we, we having a good time. Um, and Lulu, I hope you feel better to hear. I hope you get some rest. Get some rest and congratulations. I'm so proud of you. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and manifest and claim it for us, Lulu. Our blue checks are coming in 2021. Okay, so we're getting our blue checks in 2021. I thought you were going to say Michael B. Jordan was coming in 2021, but I'll take the blue Oh, check. no, Mike, Michael B. Jordan is coming like in the next two weeks. Girl, so. no, I claimed it first. I claimed it first. I already spoke to Kev. He got a direct connection no, to God. I, I, I already did that. I did, I already did that. I did the video. I did, I did a video about him before too, girl. I did a video before you about you know, him. You know what, fine. You can have Michael B. Jordan. I'm, I'm trying to break. So, you know, so you, you can, can have that. Drake, get Drake and then we can swap. Because you know that's what you do with the younger Cubs. You just you know so you we just stop it. Hey, to yeah, here. Next we zooming don't. with the homies. You better have Michael B. Jordan, Drake, somebody yeah. on here because okay. I mean, I'm okay. I'm kicking the hey, door before. in on that. I'm get on that tonight. I'm gonna tweet him tonight. Like, bro, call at me. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm coming in greased up with, with just my bro. Coming in a bathing suit with baby oil. And Bruh, I'm greased okay. up. I'm right, coming. Now we can't. Now we can't have it doing it because you went too far. See that? You don't know how to act. You always go too far. That's your goddamn problem. Listen, I want to thank Josh English taking the stage. Uh, Chelly Flakes, Brother in Blue, Ernest Galloway, Benita Robinson, Amy Legros. Thank you so much to everybody that has already watched. Uh, more to the story. Thank you. If you have not watched the newest episode of more to the story, please go check that out. Actually, I ain't gonna even promote nothing else. I ain't gonna promote none of my other shows. All I care about is making sure that this show is successful because this is fair and stepping out, taking a risk. This is her um, making herself vulnerable, exposing herself, uh, putting out embarrassing stories that she's not embarrassed by because we're all human, we're all people, we mess up, we learn from these mistakes and we, we are better people because of it. So all I want right now is for everybody to go watch more to the story. That's all I really care about right now. Just pushing that and making that the next staple show. So I'm going to just be pushing that for the next six weeks into this world. I mean, to the year ends. And then uh, <laughs> we're going to finish out just like that. And thank you to the Rewatch Game. Thank you to the More Mobs. Thank you to the uh, Scary Squad. And thank you to my mods, the beautiful More Mobs. I appreciate you guys. I have some gifts coming. Uh, I can show y'all. Actually, you know what? I will show y'all. This is. This is for my more mods. Um, I just Can I just say you. thank you to everybody who sent me something in Cash App? I appreciate y'all. I just looked at it. So thank you so much for everybody who sent something. It's yeah, definitely yeah, going yeah. through the, the tooth fund. Oh. <laughs> the tooth fund. Um, where is it? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Got the pictures right here. Got the pictures right here. Uh, and these are going to be one of ones. These won't be on my website. This is literally for my mod, so um, let me put it up here. I got some special glasses and mugs. These aren't on the website. So cute! Oh. And I had to get these made individually and they were not cheap. So I just want to say I, <laughs> I appreciate y'all. And once I get those, I will mail those out to you guys. But thank you so much for all of your amazing hard work and dedication to the to the cause, man. Um, that's Hippie Ghost. Uh, Stephen O'Conn and Jennifer Rebus, I appreciate you guys. And we're probably going to look to expanding that in a little bit because we're going to need some more help. I predict that we are going to grow exponentially in the upcoming year. I'm just throwing it out there. Um, again, if you haven't already liked the video before you get out of here, please like the video, man. It keeps it going. Uh, and again, please go watch more to the story. I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see y'all next week on another episode of Zooming with